So that's us leaving this cracking wee place. We're heading for an uh, spin down uh, Biscay. We're going to do an uh, night sail just, just sort of off the coast, 12 miles off the coast, and get our feel for Biscay. So that's a beautiful place to be leaving. We don't really want to leave, but with a wee bit of time to make up and get down into North Spain. So let's see you right, out there. That's us left this beautiful wee place that we only came into last night. But now we're heading for LU, one of the French islands, 98 nautical mile away, to bring us into a nice position for. Right, just just to let you know, yeah, just when you're when we're leaving the marina, you have a nice marina in there, which is quite good and feels it if you didn't need water or food or supplies. And that that's the anchorage in there for it. There's a lot of moon balls in there, but on peak season it can be fucking bung to the throat. But that, that's when you go in there, and it's actually beautiful in there as well. Like we've been scanning around it and stuff, so it's spot on to go in there too. But the marina is also lovely, so you have a good choice here. But it's busy on peak season, you know. Zero wind. It's not what it gives, so 
We're just taking in the seal. Alex usually does this but he's videoing so and this all just does pull in the head seal. No major. And uh, had the fishing rods out, pissing about, but it's obviously really warm. Earlier some rain came on, I put on the full fucking wax. As soon as I put them on, boots and all bang, rain away, and then fucking straight out with the sun again. That's fucking roasting now. Shouldn't be cursing me because it's in the bar. But anyway, the dolphins around us, the seals are all away, even the main seal, but it was slapping about and it was ruining the seal. So that's all, I think Alex is going to do us a bit of supper shortly, so that'll be the highlight of the fucking night. So anyway, that's what's happened for now. So as we're saying, no fucking wind, and Alex has got the dinner on, so at least it's warm. What's going in here, Alex? Get them chopped the fuck. Never mind. Fucking video. <laughs> <laughs> That's that these guys. Fucking tired. I've devoted to cutting the spots, but well, uh, these are to make our wee oven chips. What well, as you can see, like <laughs> in biscuit, yeah, chopping spots on the deck. Not working. Fuck it all way when you have it, like. supper and what a fucking uh, nice thing to finish your supper today we've got wind again so we're sailing nicely at six knots believe it or not and we're sailing down past the wee island of uh, Belle Isle on the front on the French West Coast if you just look out here you'll just see the lighthouses on it Settling in then for the night watches and getting everything going. All she's got the AAS set up, alarms put going on her. And uh, we should be down here maybe about 8 9 o'clock in the morning. Yeah, uh, just see what happens. We'll take it to play up a year. But uh, cracking moon out here as well. Glad to get the wind back again. Nice one for uh, just starting settling into our night sail. So hopefully we get a good bit of wind and get her going well throughout the night. And it looks like it's going to be a cracker. So all's good. Half six in the morning, uh, we're about an hour away from LDU. Uh, been a pretty good night, pretty fast, but we've got a bit of a swell here now that you'll not really, you won't really fucking pick it up. And it's a fucking ugly wee sea. It's, uh, it's, a, it's a strange sea. But uh, there's what it's all about. Look at that for a sunrise. actually anchor so we might actually anchor uh, I don't know with this sea uh, I'll just take a look at it when I go back over and then if not we'll just go into the marina
you know, people speaking English and stuff. What we find is all these big marinas, there's always somebody that speaks good English. And well, they're sort of helpful there. Like. Yeah. No dramas. And the marinas are actually pretty cheap. And for the size of this marina and the facilities in it, yeah. Uh, 21 euro on it? Uh, 21 euro for right. a four here. The last marina was 29, but really good facilities, you know. So that's it. Uh, not bad. It's absolutely huge. As I say, an absolute massive marina. So in this marina, this is the sort of facilities we have. Uh, they're not state of the art, but they're clean and they're tidy and kept well. Well, not actually too bad. Shower, not bad. That's all you need to do. So that's, that's really all we have. Uh, that's what's going on in here. At least it's clean, you know. Every place we've been to has got washing machines, tumble dryers. Obviously for a small charge, but they accept they expect that way. But overall, not bad. Clean, tidy, and that's the main thing. And the shores are sculpting. Uh, walking around here trying to get food tonight. Where everywhere seems to be closed, isn't it? Yeah. Fucking strange. Hello everybody sitting eating food. It's just closed very early. What oh, grimy we place. It's not open to half three, so we're going up to a fort here. It's only about a mile away, and it's absolutely fucking roasting, isn't it? Ah, uh, roasting big time. Uh, and look, what's these these floors? Look like poppy. A little bit. But they're uh, cracking, cracking spot. So off to the fort we go. Ah, so we made it up to the fort. Uh, oh, that's fucking class, isn't it? Oh, unbelievable. Really, really nice, look. Like. I'm guessing this was the boat. This is the bridge, the main entrance into it. Absolutely bad. 